Everybody stop what you're doing, please. When it comes to remodeling and renovating your home, there is no better show on your radio. This is Around the House with Eric G. Where's the hammer? From your back fence to the sidewalk, Eric will tell you how to keep it all in tip-top shape while helping you save a buck while doing it. If you like DIY projects, it takes a lot of practice to get good at it. And Eric is here to guide the way. Is it on the, go up on the other floor. Somebody go up there and stop the hammering. All that and more on the fastest two hours of home improvement radio. These are the wrong plans. These are the old plans. Welcome to Stop It Around the House with Eric G. Welcome to Around the House with Eric G. This is the Pro Insider Podcast. This is the podcast that's out there for all of you people working in the construction trades. Maybe you're a framer, maybe you're a roofer, maybe you're an interior designer. Maybe you work at a retail location selling to contractors, lumber yard, tile store, whatever this is for you. Well, thanks for joining us today. It has been a crazy week. I think like everybody, everybody's looking at that Thanksgiving here in the U.S. next week where everybody's looking at that going, I have to get A, B, C, D, E, and F done before I can get out of here and uh, at least call it a day. So here's, I wanted to give some advice because this is definitely something that I'm working on personally. This is a do as I say, not as I do thing. So this is a work in progress with me as well. But I wanted to talk about giving yourself some mental breaks because as we come up on the holidays, I am guilty of this because I have set plenty of expectations on myself. It's all on me, not on anybody else to get some projects done, get stuff done over the holidays, and I have basically blown away what needs to be, for me traditionally, has been a little bit of reset, you know, rest and relaxation time. It used to be when I was a kitchen and bath designer, uh, doing that, you know, for nearly 30 years, that that week between Christmas and New Year's, which is my birthday, which is all that time, Construction kind of stopped. The cabinet factories were shut down. Wasn't a lot to do, so I would take that week off and reset. Well, now that I'm doing media, that things still move along. There's no pause. There's no stop. And so I found myself personally, you know, loading that week up because things do slow down a little bit, but it's a time to get things done. And last year, we were getting ready to move into the house because we bought the house, well, year ago this week and I had to get it done for the move and all that stuff and I'm catching myself doing it again this year and I've got to be able to manage that a little bit better because right now I'm trying to get stuff done uh, for my kitchen and bath remodel and I'm still sitting there checking boxes and it's something that I've got to work on personally but I want to talk about this for you and your employees if you're a designer if you're a business owner if you're a framer, contractor, sometimes you can't really run these things like you want to. But if you look back here, you know, pre-pandemic, and I found this cool study. Uh, U.S. workers took an, av- took an average of 17.2 days of vacation in 2017, jumping nearly a half day from 2016. But if you look back, we took a lot of vacation time, and then... You know, nearly eight, ten years ago, we dialed it back and quit taking it because of expectations and everything else. You know, it's interesting. So the finding comes from the State of American Vacation Study, 2018, where they surveyed 4,000 workers on vacation habits. And it's interesting. You know, um, the United States is the only country in the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, a group of 37 countries at work, to stimulate economies in world trade that does not mandate a paid vacation. And I'm not saying we need to mandate a paid vacation. Don't get me wrong. That's not political stuff that we get into here. But this project shows that the employees basically paid vacation rate as the number two most important benefit after health care. So it's one of those things that's very important to the employee. Now, depending on the culture of your company, it can be very hard to take vacations. And I know this. I've worked for dozens of companies, including my own. 
you know, the study showed that two thirds of employees say that they had they hear very little about vacation time from their companies, and that silence creates a vacuum. You know, if you think about it, that it puts this stress on. Oh, you're not part of the team if you if you take vacation. I think it's something as a company we should all be talking more about. Because I tell you what, when I feel like I'm getting burned out, and it happens. I turn around and take some time off. I don't do stuff. I'll I'll take a break and, you know, take a few days to recharge and do whatever, get some good sleep. And if I could take a few days off outside of my normal time, man, I come back even more fired up. And I've noticed that here in 2020 because I do a lot of travel. When I'm off doing these speeches and stuff and I'm having fun, I'm meeting people, I'm doing stuff, even though I'm getting paid to do it for me, it's like a vacation. So when I come back to do radio and TV, I'm recharged. And I haven't been able to do that since March, which is very unusual for me. And so that the interesting thing is time off. this time off research found that employees who reported that their company encourages vacation are much happier with their jobs than those who work at places where vacation is maybe discouraged or managers are not paying attention to taking time off. They're more likely to use all their vacation time, which is important. So we've got to be able to, as a company and as employers, as managers, is to be able to get people to unplug a little bit. Because you know something, when it comes down to it, they end up being better employees and you end up being better workers because you're not in the middle of that, you know, just day in, day out grind and you can reset a little bit. That reset helps people set their own goals, their own, you know, take care of family things. This is one of those things that I think over the holidays here with 2020, I think one of the most important things we can do is give ourselves a little break, dive off of social media, jump into stuff that is a stress reliever. And really, when you take the time off, set that away message on your cell phone and your uh, email and go knock it out. Have some time. Spend some time with your family. Spend some time with the kids, pets, you know, whatever floats your boat. Go out and have a time. You might not be able to go to that vacation that you wanted to go in Europe or the Caribbean or wherever else, but at least relieve some stress and do some reset. You know, if you're a skier or snowboarder, head up to the mountain someplace. Have a good time. If you do want to, to, to hit the beach or go outdoors, go do a hike, go do that stuff that really kind of chills you out. Because if you can create, as a company owner or manager, a better culture on vacations, that's going to be a really big thing for positivity and productivity into 2021. And I think it's interesting when the brain can think positively, when you're thinking positive, productivity improves by 31%, sales increase by 37%, and creativity and revenues can triple. Think about that. I mean, that is from the American Psychological Association. That is an amazing thing. So not changing any of your other business practices, if you made sure, if your employees were not taking their vacation time, not doing stuff, and you turned around and did that, on average, you can get 31% more out of your people, 37% more out of sales, and you can boost creativity and revenues can triple. That in itself is a hell of a business model just to get people taking some time off. And I know that there is, you know, as a designer and stuff, when I had my own business, I felt guilty jumping off. You know, workplace pressures is that too. I mean, I'm going to be taking a few days off next week for, for Thanksgiving, you know, and I know that my workload doubles before and after with that. It just always does, you know, and I think if we can set those expectations for everybody, and make sure that we, in a company, have got some job sharing where you can shift some of that load. I tell you what, your business is going to be so much better off. And hold your employees accountable to make sure that they are uh, taking that time off. You're given the benefit. Give them a break. 
And you know something? They're going to be happier people about it. And as the manager or owner, take that time, too, and make sure you've got your people because you know something? You're leading the helm of the ship, so you better uh, better be on your A game to make sure they've got that under control. All right, everybody, we're going to have some good interviews coming up here with the holidays and stuff. I pushed out a couple uh, that we've got coming up, but we're going to have some fun. And uh, tune in to Around the House with Eric G. this weekend because we've got a packed show ahead. We've got energy-efficient water heaters that will put money back in your pocket. And then we're going to be talking with stressless furniture. Talk about this. You need to get one of these chairs. It's the most comfortable chair that I've ever sat in. I jumped in one over here at uh, Cascade Furniture, one of our sponsors, and these people didn't even pay me or anything to be on the show. There's no advertisement here or anything. That's not what we do on that. But I tell you what, dang comfortable chair. Something that you can, uh, or couch or dining room chair or anything else. Cool stuff worth looking at. And then we've got uh, some Black Friday sale stuff coming up with appliances that is going to be huge that anybody can pick up across the country. So something to listen to. All right, everybody. Thanks for listening to Around the House Pro Insider. I'm Eric Chief, and you've been listening to Around the House. Around the House with Eric G is produced by, designed by Eric G in association with Salem Media and distributed nationally by the Sun Broadcast Group. All rights reserved. Copyright 2020 designed by Eric G. We will be back next week. If you missed part of the show, check out the podcast of all of our shows at aroundthehouseonline.com. Remember, measure with a micrometer, mark with caulk, and cut with an axe. Thanks for listening to Around the House.